Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Ladies and gentlemen, in this video we're gonna see how to add natural colors to your sculpted uh, model So, for example, if you have a big cat project and you and you wanna uh, use this natural color of a tiger Suppose that you have a tiger or any other animal and you wanna exactly use this color to your sculpt material So, let's see So, we have here this Suppose that you have finished this model successfully. Okay, we do not need to see the rig. I have added uh, some of the uh, material here, but it is this image texture. So, first of all, you uh, make the base color image texture, and then I will cancel this image. I'm Suppose that this is a tiger Open Okay Desktop And I'm gonna use the tiger Okay Here we go, this is the tiger As you can see, we cannot see the natural color of course, we must be on material preview, not solid, not wireframe, okay, material preview. So the second uh, step is to go to UV editing and open desktop, the same, open image, okay, so this is the image here move to texture paint okay the other step is to come here through this and you'll find here the tiger okay so this active paint texture index now we have a problem uv map there is no uv map so we're gonna add simple so at simple uvs add cube map UVs on mesh. Click on it. Takes some time, and here we go. Congrats. In less than five seconds, we got what we need. Of course, it mainly depends really on the Resolution and the size of or dimensions of this image. Just a simple image, you can get a better image or a bigger image, and you repeat the same sequence. In this than one minute, you can make what you want without any problem. After that, you can uh, edit it, I guess. So, notice if I come here, I'm still. Uh, dealing with this uh, skull material, we have oh yeah, we have here UV maps. We have a UV map. Okay, this UV map uh, is pretty important to let this uh, process uh, go without any problems. We cancel it. We will get a trouble. So Control Z. Okay, as you can see, if I add again, uh, the control Z did not work actually, I just clicked on plus. Please do not do this thing, just cancel what we have just done. So I uh, restarted the project again without saving it to, first of all, to see or check on the UV, if it is exist or not. As you can see, there is no UV maps. Do not add it. It causes sometimes I it causes problems due to the large frequencies of mesh, I guess. So again, I'm gonna make the same thing just one more time. Image texture. Go to desktop. Use tiger. So this is the first step. Once it is loaded, we go to UV editing. 
and make sure that you have the same picture. Tiger. Okay. Go to texture paint and then move to texture paint four uh, here for continuing the process. Now we have an uh, important message UV map here. You get you have to add symbol by clicking on this. Notice that so we do not have U maps. Okay, so we're gonna come back here and add symbol. Just wait. And here we go again. You open this, you'll find it. So please do not delete it or do not add a new one. You have to repeat the process from scratch. That's why I uh, carried out the uh, process again in this video. So thank you so much. This That's it. And here you can see, yeah, cancel it. You can go to layout without any problem. Z, click on Z and render it. You'll find, find it. It is not a tiger, so it is very weird for to me to uh, see this animal. Okay. Anyway, sometimes you have to. Okay, we're gonna save it right now. I'm just uh, showing you if you create a new project from scratch, if you go to material. Okay, no problem. If you go to uh, object data properties, UV maps, you will find already UV map. I just uh, used a very different procedure in uh, in the Big Cat project. That's why it is not compared to this. Here is by default. You will find this. So if you open UV editing, you will find this mesh already. Can open it. Yes, it's completely different, and uh, also you can come here and your base color and image texture, and simply we're gonna use it. Okay, Z, you must be in material preview. As you can see, it is pretty easy to apply this thing, but it was not very easy at all to make this uh, thing without the previous, the uh, idea I showed you in sculpture. I faced those troubles, so uh, that's it. That's why I made that video to just show you Differences here, uh, life is pretty easy because it's just a simple cue. So, uh, there is another video on YouTube that uh, teaches you how to uh, use this mesh here to uh, carefully adjust uh, the colors you need at the exact location. Okay, so texture, yeah. Texture painting and sculpting, no, as uh, beginner textures and materials tutorial. This, please, beginner textures and materials tutorial, it's pretty awesome. So, uh, please uh, check it out and thank you so much. I wish this helps you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.